Yeah, good morning, dear parents and students. Uh, if parents are seeing this video alone, I would like you all to please pause it and call your students. It is important that students also see this particular video. Very important points for them also to see. Uh, I am Dr. Kiyur and this is my colleague, Dr. Vishal Punjabi. Hi, Punjabi, sir. Hi. Hi, Kiyur, sir. Hi, parents. Ah. Hi, Hi, parents. Students. Hi, all of you. Chalo. So, all of you are finishing your 10th standard. You have a dream of getting into MBBS. And it is our duty that we help you in achieving this beautiful dream of yours. So, right now, you are giving your board exams. And uh, a few things before we go into our description. Right now, you are studying well for all your subjects. But please prepare extra hard, extra special studies for physics, chemistry, bio, and maths. Because this beta is going to be your future. Your NEET exam is based on physics, chemistry, and bio. And maths is required for physics. So you have to make your 10th standard physics, chemistry, bio, and maths very, very strong. Get excellent marks. The concepts of 10th are carried forward in 11th and 12th. So this is better what we will recommend you right now. Now we will start with our protocol and uh, we will explain everything. Uh, Vishal sir, can we please start the slideshow? Yes, Vera. So it will be me, Dr. Kiyur Cholera, Dr. Vishal Punjabi, who is talking to you, and Dr. Arif Kanadia. Uh, we all three are doctors. Uh, I have done my MBBS from JJ Medical College, JJ Hospital. I'm teaching since 1996. Vishal Punjabi, sir, is a doctor from JJ, my own college. And he's teaching since 2000. And he's an MBBS himself. And Dr. Arif Kanadia will be as a homeopath. And he's teaching since 2001. And all of us have got around 25, 20 years of experience. Uh, so first we'll tell you something about your NEET exams. Your NEET exam, which is called as the National Eligibility Cup Entrance Test gives you admissions into MBBS, which of course is your main dream. And all of you want to try for getting into MBBS. But along with MBBS, also BDS, that is dentistry, and occupational therapy and physical therapy, which is physiotherapy and occupational therapy. Along with it, BAMS which is Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine, BHMS, which is Bachelor of Homeopathic Medicine and Sciences, and Yunani are covered. Speech therapy, audiology, and nursing are covered under NEET exam. So, a uh, broad spectrum, most students who give the NEET exam go for MBBS, if not, they go for dentistry, that is BDS, or they go for physiotherapy, which is PT, or go for Ayurveda or homeopathy, which is all covered under the NEET exam. Along with the NEET exam, beta, you have to understand all medical colleges in India are covered under the NEET, including AIMS and JIPMED. Now, Ames Delhi is the dream college. It is the fantastic college, the number one college of India. You have to be in the top 43 ranks out of 15 lakh students to get into Ames Delhi. And Jipmer in Pondicherry, 
the Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Research, Education and Research is another excellent college for clinical research. You have to be in the top 250 to 300 to get into JIPMED. So, my dear students, I wouldn't want you all to stop with getting into a Mumbai Government Medical College. Our dream will be to put you into Ames Delhi, the All India Institute of Medical Sciences Delhi and JIPMED. As a matter of fact, this year, we are having three students who are getting into JIPMED. Uh, Rahul Kothari has a state rank, or rather All India rank of 92 out of 15 lakh students. Anuj Doshi has an All India rank of 98 out of 15 lakh students. And Jaitra Shah has an All India rank of 110 out of 15 lakh students. And they are easily getting KEM, but I am pushing their parents that send them into either Ames Delhi, if they get it, they are on the waiting list of Ames Delhi, or get into JIPMED. With a 92nd rank, 98th rank, 110th rank out of 15 lakh students, why go for a Mumbai Medical College? Go for the best medical college of India. So try to get into Ames or try to get into JIPMER, which are excellent colleges. So this is what you have to dream about. Don't stop with just MBBS in Mumbai. Dream bigger. Dream of all India colleges. Like Rahul is, like Anuj is, like Jaitra is. And let's see where they will take it. And along with it, beta, you have the MHCT, MHTCT, which gets you into pharmacy. So you have the NEAT exam, which is for MBBS, BDS, physiotherapy, homeopathy, Ayurveda, etc. And the MHTCT, which is an additional exam, which you give for pharmacy. The NEAT exam is based on your 11th and 12th syllabus. So it is both 11th and 12th. The CBSE syllabus, the NCERT textbook and your MHTCT is only based on your 12th standard syllabus with some topics of 11th standard and that gets you, you, you into pharmacy. So this is better what you have to give the NEAT and the MHTCT for pharmacy. Two exams only you have to give. Now the schedule uh, you will start your lectures in May. Around the second week of May, we will start your lectures. Lectures will be initially two times a week. And then for some students who finish their exams a little later, uh, their exam uh, batches will start in June. And uh, that will be three to four lectures per week. So most of you who are from ICSC or CBSC, your lectures will start in May itself. So most of you will be in May. For some students who are from IGCSC board or SSC board, their exams get delayed and they will start in June. And uh, May onwards, lectures will be twice a week. June onwards, three to four lectures per week. And in August, both the May and June batches will become parallel to each other and your lectures will be thrice a week till the portion gets over. Uh, we will start in May 2nd or 3rd week and uh, suppose this year the exams get delayed. That it is going to happen that they are going to delay the exam. Don't worry. We will start in May and for your board exams, we will give you an off. So you don't have to worry about that. The lectures will start. We will give you an off. You can finish your board exams and we will start again. So you need not worry about that. And lectures will be thrice a week. And how will we do it better? We will coordinate with whichever physics, chemistry teachers you want to join. So that is completely open-ended. You may join any physics teacher of Villapale, 
or Murubli or Mullern or any chemistry teacher and we will take care of all your uh, timings and adjustments with all the teachers. You don't have to worry about it. We will do it. So your lectures will preferably finish in three Preferably three days. Okay, so your lectures will start at say 7 o'clock in the morning. We will try to have your physics lecture first. Followed then by your chemistry lecture. Followed then by your bio lecture. It starts at 7 in the morning. And it gets completed at 1.30 in the afternoon. After 1.30, uh, you will have an important thing here. Every class, there will be a test. The lecture duration is one and a half hour. Of which 10 minutes, there will be a test. And multiple choice questions will be asked to you. 10 mark or 10 questions out of 10 questions if you get 8 and above correct then you will after 130 go back home but if you have got less than 8 correct then after the lectures are over we will make you sit back after the lecture you will revise that part again and give a retest and get at least more than 8 out of 10 correct, only then you can go home. So you have to work very hard, lecture to lecture. My lecture, Vishal sir's lecture, Arif sir's lecture, every lecture there will be a 10 multiple choice question test and 8 MCQs minimum right. Suppose you reach home with everything correct, you have lunch in the afternoon, and rest for some time. In the afternoon or evening, we will have a Zoom lecture in which we will solve multiple choice questions. So, aapka double practice ho jayega. In the morning lecture of one and a half hour, we will do your theory. And in the evening on Zoom, we will solve multiple choice questions. So your theory practice also is done and your MCQ practice also is done. And we will be doing tremendous amount of MCQ practice. Tremendous. You will be solving more than 50,000 multiple choice questions with us. For the final need paper, which has only 90 multiple choice questions, we will be solving around 50,000 multiple choice questions in all our tests, in our daily class tests, Sunday tests, prelims, uh, uh, our MCQ books, tremendous hard work and a lot and lot of practice will be done. So you have to be mentally geared up for tremendous hard work. And your portion will get over by August 2022. So we start in May and lectures thrice a week. August 2022, your portion will be over. August 2022 se leke till October, November, we will have vivas, orals, and revision of all the topics. So Three days ka system chalta rahega. Syllabus will be completed in August, thrice a week. And post completion of the syllabus, me on one day, Vishal sir on another day, Arif sir on another day, will take one chapter and open the book and ask you every line and word in the form of orals, vivas from the NCERT textbook, which is your prescribed textbook for the NEET exam. Like this book beta is your NCERT textbook. And this book you will be doing, one book is for 11th, one book is for 12th. A total of 669 pages are there. And we will cover each and every line and word 
of the NCERT textbook and make you ruthlessly perfect from August till around October or November and you all will become absolute champions of biology. Along with it, we will also do doubt solving. Along with it, revision will be done. And better, uh, throughout two years, we will be very strict with you all. Marks chahiye to chahiye. Kuch bhi ho jai, marks chahiye. But outside the class, we all three teachers are very approachable. You can meet us. You can personally solve our doubts. We will have doubts given to you by WhatsApp. We will create a Telegram app. And Telegram app pe up sab log ko include kiya jayega. Just where you can post your question and we will give the answer and that will be seen by all the students. You can call us up individually and we will help you with solving your doubts. Uh, now, uh, the scheduling, uh, I will just tell Vishal sir to take over. Uh, Vishal sir, please carry on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So after you complete your portion and after you complete your Viva schedule, which will be somewhere around November. So in November and December, there will be part portion tests. So schedule will be given to you. And in part portion test, you will have three chapters, four chapters, or maybe five chapters. So part portion tests will be there. And of course, like half syllabus test will also be included in this portion. And then in December and January, you have completed all the uh, part portion tests here somewhere mid December or third week of December, then December onwards, you will start with your NEET prelims. So NEET prelims will continue till January 2023. You're going to start in May 21. You will complete your portion in August 22. Then that this schedule, November, December schedule, and then December, January. Uh, December 22 and January 2023, your NEET prelims will be conducted. This is pre-boards. Then in the month of uh, January, you will also get board exam prelim practice. Uh, how to write board exam paper, HSC paper, because even that exam you have to give. So HSC prelims will be conducted in the month of January and February. And don't worry about your HSC portion, HSC portion is a part of NEET portion. So when we are teaching you for NEET, automatically your HSC portion gets covered. So it's a small portion. HSC portion is a small portion, which is a part of NEET portion. So when you do NEET portion, HSC portion is covered. Only thing is HSC test practice will be given directly in the month of January, February 2023. Because in the month of February, you will start with your final board exam, HSC board exam, which will complete in March. That is why we have written February and March. So HSC board examination will be done by somewhere around first week of March. Then second week of March onwards, your prelims will start, which will go on till end of April. So this is the final prelims will be conducted for me generally twice a week or thrice a week weekly prelims. And May 1st week, you will have your final NEET exam. Generally, it's in it's on the first Sunday of uh, May. So first week, first Sunday of May, you will have your D-Day NEET exam, the most crucial uh, three hours in your two years span. And those who are interested in pharmacy will also be giving MHTC, which is generally in second week of May. So it's not compulsory, but generally it is in second week of May. And for this, what you need to read is government textbook. Anyways, you will be reading government textbook throughout these two years for NEET exam. So, but for MHTCT, you require only 12 standard and some topics of 11 standard. So we will guide you for the same, if at all some people are interested in pharmacy, so second week of May, all your exams end. All right. Then uh, regarding your test schedule, Kirur sir has already mentioned about your lecture schedule. Now test schedule, you can see here, I've written down 
uh, Sunday tests, which will be MCQ based tests, will start somewhere in the end of July 2021. So you start lectures in the month of May. So some portion will be covered in the month of May and June and July. So on those topics, your test will start in the end of July. So then onwards, it will be every Sunday. Every Sunday, you will have either two subjects or three subject tests. For example, uh, suppose one Sunday you have physics, chemistry. Next Sunday, you may have chemistry, biology or physics, biology. And also, when you enter your 12th standard, uh, we will give you practice of physics, chemistry and biology combined uh, test practice because this is important that you study all three subjects for a particular day on a so we will be giving separately portion of physics teachers will give you physics portion chemistry teachers will give you chemistry portion so it won't be entire syllabus but part you know portion of physics chemistry and biology your test will start when you will enter 12th standard and that too somewhere in the month of july or august these combination tests will start See, your daily class tutorial, as Keosu mentioned, will start immediately. As we complete first lecture, second lecture, you will have test on first lecture's portion. Whatever has been taught to you in first lecture, based on that, you will have test in second lecture. And third lecture, you will have test on uh, portion based on second lecture. So that's how it will keep on going. Then, uh, this I told you already. Then uh, these tests are conducted in schools and colleges. For example, Borivali students will be writing test in Balbarti school and uh, uh, Dhanukar college in Villeparle. So those students who are writing test in Villeparle will write in Dhanukar college. Tentatively, I'm telling you all in case any issues will guide you later. Then uh, this al already mentioned HSC board prelims will be in the month of 20 Jan 2023 and after board exam, any tests will continue. So uh, now regarding this NEET exam, I'll just uh, tell you in brief, again, this will be repeated once you join with us in orientation lecture, everything will be repeated. So this board exam is based on 11th and 12th portion as Keosar mentioned 11th NCRT and 12th NCRT textbooks are everything for you. You need to thorough those two textbooks but apart from that also we need to study government textbook also we will provide you with notes you need to read those notes those notes have in-depth concepts so uh, we will be covering everything in lectures but uh, while reading, you need to read NCRT textbook, you need to read notes, you need to read government textbook. And uh, like, you know, based on that, you will have your NEET exam. So physics, 45 questions are asked. From chemistry, 45 questions are asked. And from biology, 90 questions are asked. Each question carries four marks. So if you total it out, it is 180. So 180 questions are there and if you multiply it by 4, 720 marks ka exam hota hai. So 1 into 180 into 4, 720 and also you have negative marking. So for wrong answer, uh, you will get minus 1. So uh, normally what, what many students think is if we get right, if we get answer right, we will get 4 marks. But if we uh, mark wrong answer, we will lose only one. That's not true. Actually, you lose one plus you lose four, which we, you were supposed to get. So ideally, you should leave the question if you know that you don't know. If you know that you don't know, leave the question. That's the best way. We will definitely train you all for that in these two years. And uh, mark requirement for a government college seat is if you score above 550, uh, you might get MBBS somewhere in Maharashtra, but this year the scenario has changed. The papers were easy. So the ones who were going to score 550 have scored 600. So moral of the story, this year cutoff is 600. But on average, in so many years, uh, whatever experience we have, 550 is generally the cutoff, but which might change. 
because of new body which has come up called NTA National Testing Agency. But anyways, we'll keep guiding you about these in our normal lectures. And for BDS generally, more than 500 you get admission. And HSC with the requirement is only 50% PCB. So even if you score 35% in English or Hindi, that is perfectly fine. What you need is 50% in PCB. So if you have 50% in PCB, you're qualified for becoming a doctor. But of course, you should have a good neat rank. Then uh, uh, once you start with the lectures in classroom, what facilities you will get. So all the classrooms are air conditioned, proper toilets for girls and boys, reading room facilities there, students can sit there and read after lectures. And also we have some books uh, with us, which students can use it for their reference. So kind of library. So printed notes, of course, we are going to give. Uh, fine, I mean, that's what I want to say. Kyo, sir, please take over from here. Kyo, sir, you're on mute. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Very important, all of you, is which colleges to go for and what are the subjects you should select in the college? So, subsepale, please don't go to a CBSE school. Now, many parents would have advised you because the NEET exam is based on CBSE, join a CBSE school. All CBSE colleges are with school. So, they have a school based attendance, and you have to attend the school. For 11th and 12th from morning 7 o'clock till afternoon 1 o'clock. And then say we take lectures from 1 o'clock till 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. When will the child get time to study? So please do not join a CBSE college at all. Join a very low profile HSE based college. Because we are really going to cover HSC syllabus and the HSC textbook and the NCRT textbook, if you open it, topics are the same. In our notes, we include HSC as well as NCRT textbook. So everything will be taught to your children. So please, please don't join CBSC, join HSC and join a low profile HSC college where attendance is minimum. So we have in the past many years collected a good database of such colleges where attendance is only 15 to 20 days in the entire year. That's all. And rest of the time children are either with us learning PCB or they are sitting at home and studying for their NEET exam. So please join, I request you all, please join one of these type colleges if you are staying in and around Villapale, Bandra, etc. Join Khar Education Society, KES at Khar, Linking Road near the police station. Or you may join Alpha College, Villapale East. But this I will not prefer because uh, in Alpha College, they don't offer psychology, they offer economics. And I would prefer a child to take up psychology. So instead of car education, instead of Alpha College, which offers economics, join up car education society, which offers psychology. And if you are around uh, Goregao, Kandivali, Borivali, or anywhere till Virar, join Prakash College at Kandivli. Now we are having a fantastic association with Prakash College since the past 10, 12 years. And our best of the best students are with Prakash College. Say this year, Anuj Doshi, he, he got 700 marks out of 702 and he was in Prakash College. And he says it himself, 
that I am getting my uh, good score because I got time to study. And that was because he was in Prakash College. So please stay in a low profile college. That is very much important. Yeah, for students who are in Mulund, Ghatkopar, etc., central suburbs, we will very soon give you the tie-up college for uh, Mulund, Ghatkopar, central side. Now, what subjects will you select? In your college, you will select English, which is compulsory. Second language, please select the same subject which you have done in school. So suppose you have done Hindi in school, take Hindi or Marathi or Sanskrit or Gujarati or French. Now these are the languages you select. If you are in Khar Education Society, you can select Hindi or French. If you are in Prakash College, you can take Hindi, Marathi, Sanskrit, Gujarati, French, anything. Everything is available. In Khar Education Society, Hindi, Gujarati, and French, sorry, Hindi, Gujarati, and French are available. If you're in Alpha College, Hindi, Marathi are available. But I would advise, please don't go to Alpha College because they don't offer psychology, they offer economics. And which is the other language, uh, other subject? So you will take English, you will take second language, Hindi or French, or Gujarati, or Marathi, or Sanskrit. Then your main subjects, physics, chemistry, biology, PCB. And very importantly, please don't take maths. Take psychology as your sixth subject. Now, psychology is very simple. It is a small textbook of around seven, eight chapters, and you will finish reading it in about 40, 50 hours. If you take maths, then 300 hours of learning 11th and 12th maths, plus another 300, 400 hours of solving maths. That will create so much pressure that you won't get time to study PCB. So my honest request to all of you, Two things you remember, please go to a low profile HSC based college like Khar Education Society or Prakash College or a college we will recommend for Mullund. You go to these HSC based college, don't go to a CBSE college, please. And second, please don't take maths, rather take up psychology. It is easy to score, won't consume time. And it is much, much better. So please go for that. Now, maths, you don't take as a subject. But maths is required for physics. Some topics like trigonometry, etc. in maths are required for physics. So in your college, you take psychology. But you join a physics teacher who will recommend you a maths teacher who will support physics. And you have something called as a foundation course in which only those many topics of maths are taught which are required for physics. So that becomes a 30-40 hour course of which only certain topic of maths are required which are required for physics are taught. That would be most preferable a foundation course for maths, a crash course for maths, which is about 40 hours, which is required for physics. Please don't join uh, a full uh, math course that will take too much time. And uh, your languages and psychology are very simple. So I will just give you another option once your board exams get over, you will have about one month before your lectures start with us in May. In that one month period, please take your English, Hindi, or whatever second language, and psychology textbooks of HSC syllabus. 
of 12th standard english hindi and psychology textbooks of the hsc syllabus 12th standard and finish reading your entire 12th standard hsc syllabus for english hindi and psychology so once your lecture start in may you will have straight away pcb 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 done till december and then you have to just revise english hindi and psychology before your board exams so nicely manage your time then our unique selling points lot of personal attention will be given we teachers motivate our children to the core the main reason that i would say you should come to us unlike all other classes where there are uh, teachers kept on a payroll here we directors teach everything me vishal sir arif sir are six days out of the week in the classroom all six days we teach every student we know by their name every student we know them by their marks and students can approach us any time any problem they have understanding the subject managing time table physics chemistry bio nahi ho raha hai memory lapses aa rahe hai itna syllabus yaad nahi reh pa raha hai any problem or any issue at home anything at all they can feel free to whatsapp us or call us up and we will be there for them inside the classroom we will be very strict but outside the classroom beta we will be your best friend and you will be very comfortable approaching arif sir vishal sir me for solving all your problems that's our promise to you aap log sir mehnat karo beta hum log jaan nikal ke de denge khoon nikal ke de denge we love hard working students you may not be very intelligent that is god gifted but if you are hard working and you are ambitious desirous mujhe medical mein jana hai and you approach us we will go all out and help you so lot of personal attention will be given there will be counseling done by dr rashmin cholera who is a professional psychiatrist and dr rashmin cholera is a practicing psychiatrist for the past 35 years he will come and give you mental exercises breathing exercises some pranayam techniques eating habits sleeping habits lot of expertise will come in and that will actually be very helpful to you for the next two years so dr rashmin cholera will be playing a very vital role in keeping you mentally stable and he is very very nice very very humble soft spoken he will help you out and we'll have vivas for each topic continuous motivational lectures will be there you will find vishal sir arif sir me every few lectures we will give you a motivation lecture how to stay happy how to stay calm everything will be done and you will be really pumped up your 11th and 12th beta is going to be a roller coaster ride kabhi acche din hote hain marks upar jayenge kabhi bura din hoga marks niche aayenge to ye hone wala hai best of the best students will have it when you go down you need motivation and that motivation will come from your parents who are your best friends and from your teachers so we will be there along with your parents to motivate you all the time beta our khas motivation lectures hum log rakhenge we believe teaching is only 50% and 50% performance of a child is because of motivation so our main main logic is to continuously motivate you and motivate you all not only to do well in biology no 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 to motivate you all to do well in physics chemistry and bio 
to me vishal sir arif sir we will ask you not only your bio marks we will ask you your physics chemistry and bio marks every sunday to sunday and agar usme dip aata hai physics mein ya chemistry mein to uska bhi beta aapko hum log guide karenge of course your physics chemistry teachers are the best but we will guide you according to our knowledge and experience why you are going wrong in those subjects also and we will coordinate with your physics chemistry teachers ki ye bachcha bol raha hai ki physics aur chemistry mein marks kam aa rahe hai and we will only coordinate we are all friends all teachers are friends so we will take care of that and a uh, very important thing a uh, sunday test as vishal sir said are very important तो जैसे ही आपकी संडे टेस्ट स्टार्ट हो जाएगी द मार्क्स विल बी इमीजिएटली एस एम एस टू द पेरेंट्स एंड आफ्टर अबाउट फाइव टेस्ट और रिपोर्ट कार्ड विल बी मेड दैट विल बी कुरियर टू द पेरेंट्स और ईमेल टू द पेरेंट्स व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दैट संडे रिपोर्ट कार्ड इफ योर चाइल्ड इज इन द टॉप फोर्टी ऑफ आर क्लास which means vilapale borivli and mulun approximately 350 400 students usme se aapka bachcha agar top 40 to 50 mein hai then your child will get into kem sayan nayar jj cooper which are the five medical colleges that our children are dreaming to get into now this why i'm saying because every year we get approximately 40 to 50 students of our batch of 300 350 students who get into kem sayan nayar jj cooper and we do a relative study ki jo bacche hamare sunday test mein top 40 50 mein aate hain wohi bacche final neet mein hamare top 40 50 mein aate hain aur kem sayan nayar jj cooper mein unko admission milta hai so that is the significance of your sunday test and see to it that you attend your test and take your test very very seriously beta and there will be audio visual lectures now we will be giving you recorded lectures if you have missed a lecture and as a matter of fact for certain very difficult topics we will be teaching you in the classroom but along with the teaching in the classroom we will be also giving you recorded lectures so you can revise those lectures again yeah and that will be taken care of so recorded lectures will be there for you uh and uh everything will be taken care of now just to motivate you all beta this is our neat 2020 results we have Rahul Kothari who got 700 out of 720 Anuj Doshi who got 700 out of 720 and Jaitrasha who got 700 out of 720 all three students are 700 out of 720 Rahul Kothari is first in Mumbai Anuj Doshi is second in Mumbai Jaitrasha is third in Mumbai last year 2019 rushab gosar was with us and he was first in mumbai and he cracked the jipmer exam which i told you in the beginning and he is in jipmer pondicherry he got an 85th rank all over india and got into jipmer and he is in first year jipmer pondicherry and rushab gosar was in neat first in mumbai so 2019 mein beta rishabh gosar is first in mumbai 2020 rahul kothari is first in mumbai anuj doshi second in mumbai jaitrasha is third in mumbai and as a matter of fact ye to sirf toppers ki baat hai the bigger joy for all of us ye to acche student hai inko to marks aane hi wale the uh, you have around 70 Eight students have scored more than six hundred marks. Seventy-eight students with more than six hundred marks, which means seventy-eight students 
will desperately get into a government medical college within Mumbai or within Maharashtra. So out of around 300 students, around 78 students with 600 marks and above are getting in a government medical college in Mumbai. Around 91 students have scored more than 580 marks. So 91 students with 580 marks, there is a chance that with 580, those many more students will get into a government medical college in uh, Maharashtra, maybe in the first list or maybe in the second list. But they will get a government medical college. So you can say out of 300 students, 91 students, which is approximately one third of our students are getting into a government medical college in Maharashtra. So it's easy beta, it's not difficult. Do saal ke baad, teen saal ke baad, aapka hi as a report card banega. This is for y'all to get motivated. And three students have got 700. That is uh, Rahul, Anuj and Jayatra. And of course, uh, they are waiting to get into Ames Delhi. They are at the moment uh, on the waiting list of Ames Delhi. If not, they will get into Jipmer and KEM2, of course, they will get. But we are hoping they get into Ames Delhi. They are on the waiting list. Uh, Jaitra, as I said, Rahul with 700 marks with a 92nd rank. Uh, Anuj with 700 marks, a 98th rank. And uh, uh, Jaitra with 110 rank uh, with 700 marks out of 15 lakh students. So just imagine what an achievement these three boys have done. Absolutely fantastic. Lot of hard work, lot of perseverance. And 27 of our students have got more than 650 plus. So these are all students, 27 of them, who are definitely getting either in KEM or in SIAM. And we would have approximately uh, 50 students at least who are getting into KEM, Cyan, Nair, JJ, Cooper, which are the five government medical colleges of Mumbai that all of you are dreaming to get into, getting into a government medical college. So this is it, Beta. Now, uh, what are you all supposed to do? Beta, ye aapko motivate karne ke liye results dikhaye. But Beta, the reality is, in bachcho ne, Bohat, bohat mehnat ki hai. Rahul, Anu, Jaitra and so many others here, we know hum log ne unko itna push kiya, itna unse kaam extract kiya aur wo log ne haste haste utna kaam kiya. Never ever they said, sir, we are tired, we are exhausted. Kitna bhi unko homework diya, MCQ books practice karne ko diye. Smilingly they did everything. And no doubt they have done so well. So, beta, aapko agar meet mein achcha rank lana hai, Ames Delhi mein jana hai, Chipmer mein jana hai, KEM mein jana hai, Cyan Nair, JJ Cooper mein jana hai, sab se crucial hai, you have to be very... Sorry, I was a little disconnected. Yeah, subse crucial beta, you have to be very hardworking. And my father has taught me, and I'm going to teach you, observe the three H's of life. Team H, life ke hamesha yaad rakhne beta. Be honest, be humble, and be hardworking. Ye team H bohat important hai. Honesty, Humility and hard work. Be very honest. Aapke 11th or 12th mein bohat mehnat karo. Kabhi bhi cheat mat karna. Apne aap ko cheat karo ge. Aapke parents ko cheat karo ge. Aapke teachers ko cheat karo ge. Galat hoga. Cheating se life mein koi aage aata nahi hai. Never cheat. And most importantly, be honest that 
I will remove all my social media platforms from my mobile phone. मैं आपको पूछने वाला हूं जैसे लेक्चर स्टार्ट हो जाते हैं व्हाट्सएप रखना पड़ेगा आपको फॉर अस टू कम्युनिकेट विद यू बट नो ट्विटर नो इंस्टाग्राम नो फेसबुक ये आप आपके मोबाइल से डिलीट कर डालो या उसको साइन ऑफ कर लो एंड वेन आई आस्क यू आफ्टर फ्यू मंथ्स वेन यूर लेक्चर्स बिगेन आपने क्या सचमुच निकाल दिए हैं आपके मोबाइल से देन आई वॉन्ट एन ऑनेस्ट आंसर यस सो ये प्लीज करना बेटा ये ना सोशल मीडिया आपका बहुत टाइम वेस्ट करते हैं और आपके इलेवन ट्वेल्थ में बेटा एक एक घंटा जरूरी है एवरी मिनट काउंट एवरी सेकेंड काउंट इफ यू टू परफॉर्म सो वेल एंड क्रैक द नीट एग्जाम लाइक राहुल अनुज जयत्र कंप्लीट ऑनेस्टी राहुल अनुज एंड जयत्र इनके पास तो स्मार्टफोन भी नहीं था कैन यू इमेजिन दैट दे वॉज सो सिंपल सो बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट बेटा बी वेरी हम्बल बी अ गुड लिस्नर आपके टीचर्स आपको जो भी बोलते हैं अंडरस्टैंड वॉट दे आर टेलिंग यू वी विल टेल यू वी विल कीप ऑन मोटिवेटिंग यू मेनी ऑफ यू विल से सर तो इतने सालों से यही बात करते आ रहे हम लोग स्कूल से यही भाषण सुनते आ रहे बेटा हम लोग आपके अच्छे के लिए कुछ बोल रहे हैं डोंट बी इन योर ओन और माई वे और द हाई वे बेटा आप लोग बहुत यंग हो आपको नीट की गहराई मालूम नहीं है इट इज वेरी वेरी कॉम्पिटेटिव ट्रिमेंडस कॉम्पिटिशन देर इज आई जस्ट गिव यू अ स्मॉल लिटल प्रोटोकॉल इतने अच्छे अच्छे रिजल्ट आपको दिखाए मैंने बट देर आर थ्री लैक स्टूडेंट हु नीट एग्जाम इन महाराष्ट्र थ्री लैक स्टूडेंट एंड टू गेट इन टू के एम साइन नायर जे जे कूपर द टॉप फाइव मेडिकल कॉलेज ऑफ मुंबई जो आपका सपना है यू हैव टू बी इन द टॉप 600 हंड्रेड रैंक्स कैन यू इमेजिन हाउ मच इज दैट कॉम्पिटिशन सिक्स हंड्रेड आउट ऑफ थ्री लैख स्टूडेंट लेस देन वन परसेंट विल गेट इन टू अ गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज इन मुंबई इतनी लेवल की कॉम्पिटिशन है बेटा तो बी वेरी हम्बल बी अ वेरी गुड लिसनर आपके टीचर्स आपको जो बोलते हैं अदब से उसको समझो लर्न इट अंडरस्टैंड इट बेटा वी हैव ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस द डे यू आर बॉर्न बेटा मी विशाल सर आरिफ सर वर टीचिंग इन अ क्लासरूम सो मच एक्सपीरियंस वी हैव वी आर टीचिंग इवन बिफोर यू आर बॉर्न तो हमने इतने सालों से जो सीखा है हर साल के रिजल्ट से सीखा है जो मिस्टेक्स आपके पास स्टूडेंट ने की है और आपको वो दोहरानी नहीं है यू डोंट टू रिपीट दोज मिस्टेक्स वेन एवर वी गिव यू दोज इंस्ट्रक्शन प्लीज बी हम्बल बी अ गुड लिस्नर सो बी ऑनेस्ट बी हम्बल एंड बी वेरी हार्ड वर्किंग एक्सट्रीम हार्ड वर्क दिन के अराउंड एटलीस्ट फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन आवर्स ऑफ स्टडिंग दैट इज वॉट इज गोइंग बी रिक्वायर्ड आउट ऑफ यू एज अ डॉक्टर आई एम टेलिंग यू Eight hours you sleep, that is a must. One hour you exercise, that is also a must. And rest of the time you study. Eight hours sleeping, one hour exercising to keep your mind and body fresh, and rest of the time study, study, study. Yeah, for entertainment, listen to some music, uh, do whatever is required. play an instrument do something but no television because they're exhaust your eyes and please avoid a uh, mobile and please avoid wasting time on instagram facebook etc complete wastage of time so be honest be humble be hard working and 
I would like to end on a very, very motivating note. Why do you all want to crack the deal? Subse important beta, ye aap kud ke liye to kar rahe ho, but imagine agar aapne bohat mehnat ki do saal and you get into a government medical college, how happy your parents will be. How happy your grandparents will be. Aapke dada, dadi, nana, nani, ye to khushi se pangal ho jayenge ki mere bachche ko government medical college mila hai. Aapke friends kitne khush hoge? Aapke relatives kitne khush hoge? Beta, government medical college mein admission milna bohat badi baat hoti hai. To isse apni taakat banao ki mein बहुत मेहनत करूंगा बहुत मेहनत करूंगी दो साल ऑनेस्ट हम्बल हार्ड वर्किंग आई विल बिलीव इन दीस प्रिंसिपल्स एंड आई विल क्रैक माय नीट एग्जाम एंड आई विल गेट इनटू अ गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड आई विल मेक माय पेरेंट्स हैप्पी माय दादा दादी नाना नानी हैप्पी माय फ्रेंड्स हैप्पी एंड माय सेल्फ हैप्पी ये बेटा आपका सपना है हम लोग आपको सिर्फ हेल्प कर रहे हैं आपका सपना पूरा करने के लिए प्लीज हेल्प योर सेल्फ सो वी कैन हेल्प यू एंड बेटा लास्ट थिंग बिफोर आई टेल विशाल सर टू टेक ओवर एंड एंड गॉड फॉरबेड इफ यू डू नॉट क्रैक द नीट एग्जाम इन योर फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट समझो आपको बहुत मेहनत की तो भी 600 मार्क्स के ऊपर नहीं आए आपको समझो 500 मार्क्स के नीचे आए या 550 तक आए और आपको एमबीबीएस भी मिल रहा है माय ऑनेस्ट एडवाइस टू ऑल ऑफ यू बेटा प्लीज डोंट टेक अ प्राइवेट मेडिकल कॉलेज एट एनी कॉस्ट मत लेना माय फादर इज अ डॉक्टर ही इज फ्रॉम नायर माय ब्रदर इज अ डॉक्टर ही इज फ्रॉम नायर माय भाभी इज एन ऑफथालमिक सर्जन शी इज फ्रॉम केएफ I am a doctor. I am from JJ. My other brother is a engineer. He is from BJTI. All of us government. And हम लोग ने ये बचपन से सीखा है कि private medical college या engineering college में जाना नहीं है. और बेटा अगर आप private medical college में admission लेते हो तो can you imagine the fees is ten lakhs to twenty five lakhs per year. Can you imagine आप आपके फादर मदर पे कितना प्रेशर डालोगे पेइंग फिफ्टी लैक्स वन करोड़ रुपीज डू यू ऑल डिजर्व इट वट हैव यू डन इन लाइफ कि आपके पेरेंट्स आपको बहुत प्यार करते हैं और आपको एक प्राइवेट मेडिकल कॉलेज में डाल देते हैं बिकॉज यू डेन स्टडी हार्ड इन इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ यू ऑल डोंट डिजर्व दैट सी तो अगर आप में से कोई भी प्राइवेट मेडिकल कॉलेज में जाएगा ना तो मैं ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड के बाद आपसे बात ही नहीं करूंगा मत जाना प्राइवेट में राधर रिपीट करना मैं एक एक स्टूडेंट को मोटिवेट करता हूं रिपीट करने के लिए इस साल हमारे पास देर वर अबाउट फोर्टी फिफ्टी स्टूडेंट्स हु रिपीटेड एंड इन देयर फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट दे हैड फोर फिफ्टी मार्क्स 450 out of 720. After repeating in NEET 2020, they got 650 marks. 200 marks बढ़ गए. Can you imagine that? So if they had taken in a private college, एक तो they would have been out of Mumbai for five and a half years, away from their family, and most importantly paying 50 lakhs, one crore rupees. So, एक साल वो लोग ने रिपीट किया एंड नाउ दे आर गेटिंग इन के एम साइन नायर जे जे कूपर एंड दे आर विद देर फैमिली तो बेटा कितने सारे चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट होते हैं जो फर्स्ट अटेम्प में सी ए क्लियर नहीं करते हैं सेकेंड अटेम्प करते हैं थर्ड अटेम्प करते हैं लॉयर्स कितने सारे होते हैं जो फर्स्ट अटेम्प में क्लियर नहीं करते हैं सेकेंड अटेम्प में थर्ड अटेम्प में वैसे ही आप लोग मेंटली स्ट्रॉन्ग हो जाओ कि मुझे मेहनत करके फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में ही 
एमबीबीएस मुंबई गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज में चाहिए बट समझो मेरा फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में नहीं हुआ तो हम लोग केयूर सर को विशाल सर को बोलेंगे अपने फैमिली को बोलेंगे सर वी आर रेडी टू रिपीट और हम लोग आपको बेटा रिपीट करवाएंगे इफ यू हैव नॉट डन वेल नो प्रॉब्लम वी विल मोटिवेट यू सो मच इन द सेकेंड अटेम्प्ट कि आप सेकेंड अटेम्प्ट में हंड्रेड परसेंट गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज में मुंबई में मिल ही जाएगा आपको सो so, बेटा अगर आपका सपना है आपको डॉक्टर बनना है 99% आप दो साल में डॉक्टर बनोगे और अगर नहीं हो पाता है तो 100% तीन साल में डॉक्टर बनोगे तो 11, 12 के बाद 99% यू विल बिकम अ एमबीबीएस फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज इन मुंबई इफ नॉट आफ्टर वन मोर ईयर ऑफ रिपीटिंग बिंदास कोई डरना नहीं है कोई शर्म नहीं है मुझे गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज में चाहिए मैं रिपीट करूंगा मैं रिपीट करूंगी एंड नेक्स्ट ईयर 100 परसेंट यू विल बी इन अ गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज इन मुंबई तो बिकम मेंटली स्ट्रॉन्ग आई वॉन्ट टू सेव माई पेरेंट हार्ड अर्न मनी आई विल वर्क वेरी हार्ड आई रिस्पेक्ट माई फादर हिज हार्ड वर्क हिज मनी ही अर्न बहुत मेहनत करके मम्मी पापा घर पे पैसा लाते हैं और मुझे वो पैसे प्राइवेट मेडिकल कॉलेज में डालने नहीं है यानी नहीं डालने हैं मैं बहुत मेहनत करूंगा बहुत मेहनत करूंगी और मैं फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में ही गवर्नमेंट में जाऊंगी या जाऊंगा अगर नहीं हो पाता है आई विल रिपीट इट एंड सेकेंड अटेम्प्ट में 100 परसेंट मैं गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेज में जाऊंगा या जाऊंगी बेटा मुझे ऐसे बच्चे चाहिए आई लव सच स्टूडेंट्स who have will power who have determination and who have the ethics ki i want to be selfless not selfish not selfish ki 2 saal maine padh liya ab mujhe jo bhi government private college jo mil jaye main mere mummy papa ke paise kharcha karke 2 saal ke andar mbbs ban jati hu that is selfish become selfless I will save my parents' money, and I will get into a government medical college only, either in first attempt, ninety-nine percent, or hundred percent in the second attempt. So even before I'm teaching you all, I would want this promise from all of you: don't go to a private medical college at any cost. मुझे ऐसे बच्चे जो होंगे ना, वो आके मेरे साथ admission ले. मुझे सुनना ही नहीं है किसी का कि मुझे नीट के बाद कम मार्क्स मिले हैं और मैंने प्राइवेट मेडिकल कॉलेज में लिया है मैं बहुत नाराज हो जाऊंगा आपके साथ मेहनत करके फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में आओ नहीं होता है रिपीट करो प्राइवेट में लेना मत या चलो सो बेटा ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर योर बोर्ड एग्जाम्स लॉट्स टू टेल यू आपको तो बहुत बातें बोलनी है टाइम कम पड़ेगा उतनी बातें आपसे करनी है धीरे धीरे क्लासेस में आपको बहुत समझाएंगे बहुत मोटिवेट करेंगे बहुत पंप अप करेंगे यू विल बी हैप्पी यू विल बी एनर्जेटिक यू विल एंजॉय स्टडीज यू विल बी वेरी वेरी पंप अप दैट्स आर प्रॉमिस टू यू सो सी यू बेटा गॉड ब्लेस यू बेटा डू वेल यूर टेंथ एग्जाम होप टू सी यू इन द क्लास रूम सून एंड पेरेंट्स थैंक यू वेरी मच टेक केयर ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन we will need your support also for two years please see to it that you are motivating your children for the next two years we will uh, keep on meeting once the lecture start that's a very important part of uh, two years meeting parents we will have zoom meetings live meetings continuously hmm? so yeah vishal sir you can please end the meeting sir yeah so basically uh Uh, since now everything is online and since parents can't come to classes for inquiry we thought of recording this video hope this video gives you all kind of information you wanted so this is basically for your information like whatever whenever you come for an inquiry to us whatever we speak to you that is what we decided in this video we will speak so i hope 
you have got all the clarity about how the system will be how the classes will be and uh, these are basically private tuition these are not classes uh, as kevsar mentioned in between that here directors are taking all the lectures we are not on payroll so when you go to classes big big classes they keep teachers on a payroll they keep on changing throughout the year now wo repo build hota hai now wo proper quality teaching milti hai and they survive basically on marketing and we basically survive on our quality so you may not see our advertisements or anything anywhere so we purely survive on our work ethics and uh, hard work what we expect from students we are doing the same for students so i hope all the frequently asked questions have been answered to you and all the best and if you all have more queries you all can contact either me or keo sir see you all bye we can just give you our phone numbers uh, uh my number is 9833587294 and vishal sir is 9820227473 so throughout the two years whenever you want to contact us you can please note down our numbers and we will help you out uh with regarding admission process and payment of fees etc uh you can whatsapp us or call us up that is not so important we will get that procedure done hmm? ciao take care god bless you all see your students bye bye hoping to see you in the classroom soon see you all beta god bless you beta